Hello and welcome. This is Fox 14 News at 9. I'm Liz Holiday. Topping the broadcast tonight, the trial has been delayed for a southwest Missouri man charged for defrauding victims of the Joplin tornado. Again, the experts tell us to avoid shoddy work like this to make sure to always get references and at least get two bids before letting any stranger into your home. Look at that. It's pretty crazy. It's I definitely would, a good one. I would not do it. but Absolutely uh, not, geez. especially in that wetsuit. Uh -huh, yeah. Couldn't do it. Habitat for Humanity is beginning a new service to homeowners in need of improving the outside of their homes. Fox 14's Rudy Harper has the story. This is the pond where 14 year old Freddie Williams was found at 8 a.m. this morning. That's right. The Joplin Police Department tells me they're working with the FBI and ATF on this case to try to find the man or men responsible for attempting to burn down this Planned Parenthood here in Joplin. You know, when it's right next door to your office, that's a little troubling. I can see their building right outside my office window. Larry Nichols says ever since he heard about the first arson attempt on the Planned Parenthood building last week, he's felt a bit uneasy at work. And now that a suspect again approached the building and managed to briefly ignite a small portion of the clinic, he feels even more anxious. I wouldn't think something like that would happen uh, so close to our building. Uh, things are pretty well lit around here, and uh, it's just really surprising that someone would try that not only once, but twice. Nichols tells me that Planned Parenthood has always been a great neighbor, never making much noise or attracting protesters. He says thankfully the most recent arson attempt on Friday left only scorched brick and melted wire. Now the Joplin Police Department says they can't say the motives behind the attempts, but that they are continuing to work with Planned Parenthood to find out. Obviously if people don't agree with something that somebody's doing, there are proper ways to uh, express their dislike or express their different opinions and trying to burn down a building is not a, an acceptable way. But the CEO of Southwest Missouri's Planned Parenthood says the events have been a huge shock and that Planned Parenthood has been in Joplin for over 40 years without incident. We have not had even one suspicious encounter at this facility. I want to reassure our patients that we're open for business and we're there to take care of them no matter what. Police say they can't say for sure if the person caught by surveillance cameras during both incidents is the same person. And for now, they will continue nightly patrol in the area to prevent further incident. So I hope this is just an isolated couple of incidents and that they'll catch the person responsible. Joplin police tell me they take all cases of attempted arson very seriously and that in addition to stepping up area patrol, they're asking the public for any additional information that can help them catch the person or persons responsible. Reporting in Joplin, Liz Holiday, KOAM News. I've seen tornadoes before, but I've never been in battle. When Larry Davis stepped out of his safe room, he was confronted with turned over semis and his son's diesel business in shambles. He says the damage was pretty shocking. Your disbelief, I guess, is about all you could say. And, uh, he just, it's just pretty awesome. And Davis wasn't the only one. Authorities report about 15 houses sustained damage with tree limbs and power lines down in this stretch off of East 130 Road. This is ground zero right here, just a major amount of damage. It had this intersection blocked uh, for quite a while with all these poles and, and debris that was in the road. And though emergency services says the tornado was only on the ground for mere seconds, it was just enough time to leave behind this kind of damage. We had very little warning. Uh, and hope, I mean, uh, the way it worked out, no harm was done to people, but a lot of property damage here. Morgan reports that thankfully no one was injured and that first responders like Wyandotte Fire Department were on hand 20 minutes after the storm to help pick up the pieces. Basically just taking assessment of damage of houses, um, helping people get at least tarps over their roofs to where they don't have any more rain damage than what they've already sustained. As for Davis, he says he's thankful for the help from first responders like Turner. Just doing everything they can to kind of get things back to where we can do something, you know. There's just so much to do, you don't know where to start. Davis says that the shop is insured and that they will begin the process of rebuilding. In Ottawa County, Oklahoma, Liz Holiday, Fox 14 News. Debris, flashing lights, and the apprehension of a suspect wanted for homicide. This is how an attempted bank robbery ended in Ottawa County, Oklahoma on Wednesday. Well, it was uh, a little bit shy. We don't get uh, a, lo a lot of bank robberies. Miami PD say it all started sometime after 10 a.m. when Francis Harry Dishman walked into this IBC bank in Miami and asked for money. 
Police say Dishman likely got scared and left the scene driving north on Highway 69 with no money in hand. There was no weapon uh, brandished at all. He uh, handed the teller a, a note. It was here on Highway 69 between Baxter Springs and Quapaw where authorities say Dishman ran a semi truck and a second vehicle off of the highway while trying to escape at speeds of 100 miles per hour. The driver of the semi truck was killed. Well, our first response is, and you know, since this actually someone lost their life in this, we're going, you know, it doesn't. We're going to try to uh, set up a perimeter and uh, you know, get the suspect apprehended. According to Oklahoma Highway Patrol, the suspect ran from his vehicle just behind me only about 100 yards down this ditch. He was able to cover himself in brush and hide from police for two hours. There was an overbrush and he was uh, covered up in that. And we had to call for the assistance of the uh, Oklahoma Highway Patrol uh, airplane and they were able to spot uh, spotted from the air hidden, but not for long. A police found an arrested dishman around 1220 PM, about two hours after the whole ordeal began in Ottawa County, Oklahoma, Liz Holiday, KOM News.